This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. All right, so we're ready to shoot out of controller, so. On this week's show. Whoa, 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 what's that on your face? Oh my God, you can see my beard, can't you? I am so glad I signed up for Dollar Shave Club so I don't have to go to the store and buy razors looking like this. Yeah, Dollar Shave Club, I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's kind of amazing with Dollar Shave Club. It's like a fraction of the cost of big shave companies and I get ultra sharp razors delivered monthly to my door in like a really discreet box so nobody knows. And they have other products too, like this stuff. It's called Dr. Carver's Easy Shave Butter and that's why my face looks so smooth all the time. They're so good. And John cannot stop raving about these. They're one wipe Charlie's. He's always talking about like, oh, these peppermint butt wipes are the best thing that ever happened to me. It's all we hear around the office. So you totally wanna sign up, right? Like you look like you wanna sign up. You can shave time and shave money at dollarshaveclub.com slash technobuffalo. All right, I gotta go shave this off. It's a little out of controller. Hello and welcome to Out of Controller, the weekly techno buffalo show that covers all your gaming news, reviews, demos, and new releases in an easy to digest capsule form. I'm your host Ashley Skeva. It's always a big week in gaming, so let's hit the news. This story is crazy and insane and awesome. Twitch TV is hosting a first generation game of Pokemon on their site with a twist. They've set the game up to a live feed from a Game Boy emulator and programmed it so that the channel's chat room commands translate into button pushes. The last time I checked, over 66,000 people were playing Pokemon at once, resulting in a chaotic chat room inputting hundreds of commands a second. Griefers and Pokemon enthusiasts alike are all participating, making for an absolutely manic play session. It's already been going on for about a week, with the hive mind managing to make it to the third city or so. Two steps forward, two steps back. Last week, Nintendo held their first Nintendo Direct of 2014, focusing on games for Wii U and 3DS that would be released this spring. Mario Golf World Tour and Kirby Triple Deluxe for 3DS both got a May 2nd release date. Yoshi's New Island hit shelves March 14th. Punch-Out star Little Mac was revealed as a playable character in Super Smash Bros. for both Wii U and 3DS. And Mario Kart 8 will officially drop on Wii U on May 30th. We also got a proper gameplay trailer for Monolith Soft's X, exciting fans of the Xeno series, and a new trailer for Bayonetta 2, which was announced for Wii U a while back in 2012. Overall, a pretty exciting direct. Nice work, Nintendo. If you're anything like me and everyone else I know, you were probably playing Titanfall's beta this weekend until your face melted off. Well, that beta is spinning down this week, but a pair of fans toying around with the game's files found some very sweet information. Map pack names and splash images for each of those maps were likely unearthed, adding up to a total of 14 maps for the launch. We already know about Angel City and Fracture from the beta, but there's also Colony, Relic, Airbase, Boneyard, Corporate, Outpost, Lagoon, Rise, Smuggler's Cove, Training Ground, Overlook, and Nexus maps to look forward to when Titanfall launches next month. Let's Play is a feature on our gaming channel where a member of our writing staff plays a game and talks about it over the footage. This week, Joey is playing the Titanfall beta. What else? After the beta weekend, lots of folks are starting to buy into the hype. Are you one of them? Check out the footage and see for yourself how freaking fun this game is. It's Tuesday, which means new releases. The big drop this week is one of our favorite first party Nintendo IPs. It's Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. The franchise looks absolutely gorgeous in its Wii U debut and original Donkey Kong Country composer David Wise has returned to the series this time around. So good. That's it for this week's Out of Controller. Feel free to give the show a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, no pressure. And I'm gonna give you two channels for the price of one to subscribe to. You can subscribe to our main Techno Buffalo channel for all the latest and greatest tech news. And you can also subscribe to our dedicated video gaming channel, Techno Buffalo Plays, for game trailers, gameplay videos, and deeper gaming analysis from our team of experts. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.